Hey there, I'm CJ Gamer, and welcome to another Modern Warfare Tips and Tricks video for my best MP5 class. In this video, I'll be going over my favourite class for the MP5, based on the experience I've had while grinding gold. I know there are people who have different opinions, though my channel is for beginners. First, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and then we'll get straight into it. Now, before I get into this video, I just want to give a shout out to the WP Beaver. Check his channel out below in the description. Now, this class is best for point blank to medium ranges, and you can even sneak some long shots when it's used right. The first attachment is a barrel. The monolithic integral suppressor. This is like a muzzle barrel hybrid. It gives you sound suppression and more bullet velocity, meaning quieter shots and faster drop time. The only con is the lowered ADS speed, but with all the attachments combined, it's not noticeable. I choose this over other barrels because I want both faster kills and silent shots. The second attachment is a stock, the FTAC collapsible. This stock is one of the most important attachments of the class, which increases both your movement speed and your ADS speed, which turns the MP5 into a close quarters run and gun that gives you an edge in fast paced situations. You only lose some aiming stability and aiming control, that's not so bad because at close enough ranges it won't affect you too much and the MP5 doesn't have all that bad recoil anyway. The third attachment is an ammunition, the 10mm auto 30 round mags. This attachment is a conversion of bigger rounds, meaning more damage. So it increases the damage and the overall range a fair amount, which turns this gun into a killer. I'm always going for the attachment on guns that give better bullets or faster shooting, to maximize your chance of winning gunfights. Because it's a bigger set of rounds, your fire rate and aiming recoil control are affected a bit, but as long as you don't hold the trigger too long, you'll be right. And the loss of fire rate isn't so bad because of the damage increase. The fourth attachment is a rear grip. The stippled grip tape. I use this attachment on all SMGs because it's one of the best attachments there is for close gameplay. It gives you a good boost in ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, meaning faster snap ons when engaging enemies. This is definitely a game changer because even if other people are using stronger guns, if you can snap on and shoot faster than them, then you'll be winning more gunfights. The only con is the lowered aim stability, but I honestly haven't been noticing it. This gun kills pretty fast, so you stop shooting before you notice any lack of stability or recoil. The fifth attachment is a gun perk, fully loaded. I've always found it interesting with these perks because you get a nice benefit without any cons. That's why I recommend a gun perk, especially this one. I use fully loaded because I found myself running out of ammo too often around the start of the game. This gives you max starting ammo each life, so that's 240 rounds per respawn, which becomes extremely useful because you always have enough ammo to rush into the game. Alright, here's a review on the attachments. And now the rest of the class. The secondary weapon I use and recommend is the M19 pistol. If you've been watching my other videos, you may have noticed that I use the M19 pistol a lot in a lot of classes. You can go with any pistol, but I'll explain why I use this one. Like other pistols, it's lightweight, so it makes you move around a little quicker. A good tip along with this is to switch to the pistol when running from A to B, because you'll be more mobile and then switch back to your primary when coming to corners. It also shoots nice and fast, making it great when you have to switch for a finishing shot or you're running out of ammo. Now, the perks I use are for a constant ammo supply and to easily hunt enemies. The first perk is Scavenger. I use Scavenger because it goes great with all SMGs because you always have ammo. You get ammo by collecting bags from dead bodies, which is great for staying alive and chaining kills. Because you'll never have to worry about having no ammo, Scavenger helps you out when you need it most. The second perk is Restock. This perk is for people who love their nades. I know I do. Your lethals and tactical equipment restock every 30 seconds, which gives you the upper hand. Because you can hang tight for a moment to be restocked and then throw out more nades like so. The third perk is Tracker. Using Tracker is great because it gives you awareness to know where someone is or to know if you're being followed. The footsteps shown with a spoke are useful and will keep you going through the game. And now onto the lethal, which is C4. You can go with either Frag, Centrex or even Thermite, but I prefer C4. Using C4 is great and my personal favourite for a lot of classes and the control you have over it. I often call this one Pass the Parcel because enemy never knows what surprise they may be getting. It's also best for anti-camping or to clear a doorway by throwing it through. Finally, it's the tactile I use, the stun grenade. Now you can run either flash or gas grenade, but I think stun works best. The stun grenade helps in a lot of situations because when the enemy is hit, they are both slowed in movement speed and aiming speed. So they become a sitting duck that allows you to swipe an easy kill, and it also combos well with the C4 when they're slow because they won't be able to run away from what's coming to them through the window or a door. Now onto the killstreaks. This setup is aimed at a complete map control. The first is UAV. Now as usual, you won't need to count UAV because you have a suppressor. It gives you insight for where enemies are, whether they're hiding in a camp spot, just around the corner. You'll be able to sneak attack them or get the first shot. The pings on the radar are always useful just as long as they're not using Ghost. It's also helpful for teammates as they get the same effect, making it great for team game modes. The second streak is one of my favourites, which is the VTOL. This kill streak is great in most modes and maps. 
The first running attack can help clear an objective or get you a kill boost. The second battle rage stays stationary gives you a great opportunity to rush enemies outside to be shot down from your jet. The best spots are in the middle of the map or at a spawn point. The third streak is the chopper gunner. Now I've only just started using this kill streak and it's great. The chopper gunner is great for map control and will easily get you a few kills depending on the map. You can easily take people out with the bullets, and the rockets are great for groups, taking out lean kill streaks, or trying to shoot one in a window to take out campers. And now, finally onto the field upgrades. Now you can go with whatever you want, but I use the EMP drone. Because this class doesn't focus too much on the field upgrades or use tune up, I've chosen to use the EMP. It's great to build up and hold onto it when you need it. The best times are to aim for people grouped up, or someone who's at an exposed camp spot, or to take out streaks like a sentry gun as you can see here. Okay, that's the end of my best MP5 class. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you want all about better class setups, tips and tricks, kill streaks, unlocking camos, my road to Damascus, completing challenges, or ranking up and reaching officer rank, then leave a comment and let me know what you want to see. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and hit that notification bell to keep up to date. I upload every Saturday, so stay tuned for more tips and tricks on Modern Warfare. Thanks for watching, I'm CJ Gamer, and I'll see you in the next one.